plus 40 seconds. It's one hell of a sight from here. We see an Arkin right over top of us. We see 33 out of... Hello friends, Starship's ninth flight test lifted off at 6.36 p.m. Central Time on Tuesday, 27th May 2025 from Starbase, Texas. The Super Heavy Booster supporting this mission made the first ever reflight in the Starship program, having previously launched on Starship's seventh flight test in January 2025. The booster performed a full duration ascent burn with all 33 of its Raptor engines and separated from Starship's upper stage in a hot staging maneuver. During separation, Super Heavy performed the first deterministic flip followed by its boost back burn. Super Heavy demonstrated its ability to fly at a high angle of attack during its descent back to Earth. By increasing the amount of atmospheric drag on the vehicle, a high angle of attack resulted in a slower descent speed which in turn require less propellant for the initial landing burn. Getting real-world data on how Booster controlled its flight at this high angle of attack will contribute to improve the performance on future vehicles, including the next generation of Super Heavy. As it approached its designated splashdown area in the Gulf of America, Super Heavy relied its 33 Central and the Middle Raptor engines. Contact with the booster was lost shortly after the start of landing burn when it experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly approximately 6 minutes after launch, bringing an end to the first reflight of a Super Heavy booster. Following a successful stage separation, the Starship upper stage lit all six of its Raptor engines and performed a full duration ascent burn. The engine on Starship flew with mitigation in place following learning from the eight flight tests, including additional preload on key joints, a new nitrogen pure system, and improvement to the propellant drain system. During Starship's orbital coast, several in space objectives were planned, including the first payload deployment from Starships and a relight of single Raptor engine. Starship's payload bay door was unable to open, which prevented the deployment of the eight Starlink simulator satellites. A subsequent attitude control error resulted in the bypassing the Raptor relight and prevented Starship from getting into the intended position for re entry. Starship then went through the automated safing process to bend the remaining pressure to place the vehicle in a safest condition for re-entry. Contact with the Starship was lost approximately 46 minutes into the flight, with all debris expected to fall within the planned hazard area in the Indian Ocean. Starship's ninth flight test marked a major milestone for reuse with the first flight proven Super Heavy booster launching from Starbase and once more returned Starship to space. Data review is underway and new improvement will be implemented as the work began to prepare the next Starship and Super Heavy vehicle for flight. The remaining propellant overboard and it's going to make an uncontrolled re-entry. Important to note, this is a contingency that is planned for and we clear the zones in the Indian Ocean where these entries could take place. Um, so we're not going to come down exactly where we would have had nothing happened. Uh, but we do clear a tremendous amount of uh, space out in the Indian Ocean um, in the event that we run into this. You always, we, we understand that there are always risks, essentially, with these flight tests, with the hardware, uh, but we don't really accept any compromise when it comes to protecting people.